hi guys you're welcome back to my channel if you see me for the first time my name is vera obhe and if at the end of this video you like what i'm about kindly like subscribe and share let's jump right into this one i i've been going back and forth contemplating whether to talk about this topic or not but i mean at the end of the day i had mentioned in my previous video get to know me video that we are going to be killing that silence culture in the african nigerian community so let's jump right into this one on the 20th of january guys one mr bolu okupe 27 year old nigerian living in france came out as an open gay man let me backtrack a little bit mr bolu okupe 27 year old a nigerian living in france came out as an open gay man now bolu's father doing okupe honorable doing okupe because he's a politician was former aide to ex-president of nigeria good luck jonathan and guys he was among the people who signed the bill of a 14 years imprisonment for anybody who declares or comes out as gay in nigeria i'm gonna be following this story because i really want to see what happens i want to see if this bill is going to be eradicated just because Bolu now happens to be gay or if he goes to Nigeria, is he going to be locked up? Is he going to be arrested? Is he going to face the 14 year jail term? Anyways, before I continue, this video is not to encourage anybody to become gay. And I'm also not here to say that um, people should become gay. However, I do not hate gays. I do not hate, hate gay or lesbian or whatever it's called. If you belong to the LGBTQ community, that doesn't make you less of a person. To me, my opinion though, because first of all, how I see it is that these people were humans like you and I before they became anything else. So I will not necessarily define them with their um, sexuality. You understand what I'm saying? Um, in the past, I've, I've worked with some gays or some people. When I go to the fabric store to shop for fabrics as a fashion designer, I've bumped into a few of them. Sometimes we talk about fashion, we talk about fabrics, styles and all whatnot. They are normal people like you and I, like I said. And, you know, their sexuality shouldn't define them. When I'm dealing with them, I'm dealing with them as an individual. What do I need their sexuality for? So, Doi Okupe's father, eh, Bolu Okupe's father, Honorable Doi, has now come out to say that uh, he did not just find out on the 20th of January like I did, like maybe you did if you've seen the news. He said he's known about this for some time now. But guess what, guys? He's in denial. He says his uh, son. <laughs> he says his son is under some sort of spiritual attack. <laughs> so the other gays in Nigeria, the other gay people in Nigeria, or should I call them the other queer people, queer people in Nigeria, as they are called, that have been sentenced. If there is any, I've not seen any. I don't really know about that. I live here in the United States. But those ones as well, would he say um, they are under some sort of spiritual attack? Mm, I don't know. But I'm not here to even talk about Bolu being gay or doing denying that his son is not gay but under some sort of spiritual attack. I'm here to talk about what Nigerian parents, the length at which Nigerian African parents would go to protect their, their to protect their own you know the land that we go for their own selfishness for their own selfish reasons ladies you know what nigerian parents are beginning to do should their son or daughter come out to them as gay or lesbian or whatever it is what does people do <laughs> what parents do is that they begin to look for wives for these men who have come out as gay to them just so their sons could have kids just so they they could have grandchildren i'm not saying there is anything wrong in a woman a mother wanting to become a grandma what is wrong is trying to get an innocent girl into what i'll call a sham marriage as far as i'm concerned that's a sham marriage you're getting married to a gay man without your consent you don't know he's gay but then you know just for you to pop out babies 
at the long run, maybe at some point, the man will now get to come out and say, oh, I'm sorry, I just discovered that I'm gay. Or maybe he would tell you, I've always been this way, but my parents, you know, kind of forced me to get married to you just so I can have kids. Or, I don't know how that, that plays out, but I'm just realizing, I won't just say just realizing, for some time now, I've realized that this has been going on in the Nigerian community. I don't know if I'm going to insert Bolu's um, video, but he mentioned it. If I don't insert it, please Google him. I'm going to leave his name in the description or I'll put him in my, one of my hashtags. Bolu came out and said, this is happening in the Nigerian society. So you come out as gay. Hey, mom, I'm gay. The next thing she say, oh, be quiet. You're not gay. Let me get you a wife. Now I'm beginning to think. <laughs> so you meet a guy, right? And then he tells you, oh, let's wait till we're married before we get into it. If you know what I mean. Does that mean, because that's how these people, how are they going to do it? They're not attracted to you in any way. The, the, what they will say, and I'm sure what they, how they get these ladies is that, first of all, most of these ladies are matchmaking. That's why you see the mom go get her friend's child. I'm not saying that everybody who is trying to uh, matchmake you for their son or their brother, I'm not saying those men are gays, but I'm saying that this can only be the way that they do it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Maybe when you meet the you meet the guy's mom and she tells you I have a son or I have a, the sister will tell you I have a brother that is good looking that is learned blah 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 whatnot we like you want you to be our wives and then they they try to get you for their son oh, I don't even I can't even comprehend it I don't know how they how they are able to carry out these things guys a lot is really really happening in our society I, I kid you not. Like I said, I'm going to play a clip of Bolu's video where he was talking about a situation like this or situations like this that are happening. So you might be married already even and your husband is gay, but he's living a false life. Gosh. Nigerian moms, African parents, please stop it. If you feel that your child is under some sort of demonic attack or spiritual attack, try to deal with it as a family. And if you feel that this is a phase, he's going to outgrow it or she's going to outgrow it. Allow him enjoy the phase. Allow him outgrow the phase before you begin to talk him into marriage. Wow. If you feel or think that um, being gay or being queer is, is sinful or is evil, don't you know that you're trying to make match make your daughter to this guy, trying to deceive an innocent girl into this sham marriage? That is, even, that, that is evil itself as well. Please, guys, let's stop it, okay? Like I said, I'm going to be following through this story because I want to see how he eventually, I want to see how it plays out. I want to see how it's going to end. <laughs> oh, because like I said, Honorable Doing Okupe is saying that his son is under some sort of spiritual attack. And the Bolo himself is saying that some of those people who passed the law, who passed the bill, that some of they, they, them themselves might be gay as well. So guys, this is a messy situation. Just like I said, my opinion might not do much or change anything, but guys, guess what my opinion would do? My opinion will spark up a conversation in your home. After watching this video, I'm sure you want to talk about it or you want to mention it to a friend of a friend of a friend, whatever. And guys, you know what? This message is basically to tell my ladies to stay woke. Stay woke, ladies, please. Because I know that when you meet these men, when they, when you meet, they will tell you, oh, let's wait till marriage, let's wait until marriage. He's not waiting until marriage because uh, he's trying to obey the word of God. He's basically waiting for marriage so that that way, for the longest that you guys would date, he's preparing himself, you know, as to how to do it with you. So these are the kind of men that will sleep with you, will sleep with their wives once or twice a year. You get pregnant and that's it. They touch you the next time when they are trying for a second baby. Nigerian women are going through a lot. And you dare not tell anybody. If you tell your pastor, he will tell you, oh, be, be tolerant, be patient. If you tell his mother, they'll tell you, oh, don't worry, be patient. Now you're married. Why do you need sex? Yes, married women need sex as well, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed all that I've discussed or you have any contribution, I'm sure you do have a contribution, please comment it on the, write it under the comment section. Leave your comments. Please like and share, share, share this video because at the end of the day, guys, like I've always been saying, we're trying to stop that silence culture in the Nigerian homes, in the Nigerian society. We as a people, we that are born in the recent times, not our mother's time, this generation is a Sorosoke generation where we get to talk about things that are unspoken in the society. Thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.